up almost 40% after the quarter one earnings call. This is quarter one of 2024, $432 million valuation going for around 89 cents. This is Clover Health. Let's see how they're doing. Again, quarter one 2024 earnings call just released. We'll take a look at some of the improvements that they are having. Right off the bat, Mr. Andrew Toy has currently announced that the board of directors has authorized a share repurchase program of up to 20 million of their own shares. And that's going to be happening over the next two years. Looks like Clover is starting to have some favorable business outlooks. They talk about how they have a strong liquidity position and that they have sufficient capital for operating and growth needs. And straight into the financials that they just recently posted. We are currently looking at this M column right here. Quarter 1 of March of 2024. Latest numbers they posted on that earnings transcript. Down 34% year over year in total revenue. Again, that is because they exited ACO reach. And they are trying to get their operating expenses in line. So huge improvements that we could see is the improvement in earnings per share. They posted negative 0.04 cents. They beat the earnings analyst by $0.03, cents, posting a 73% year-over-year gain. That is a huge improvement in earnings per share. And this is quarterly data. As you could see, going back to 2022, there is a trend to positive earnings per share. I feel like Clover Health is on their way there to having positive earnings per share consistently. Next up, operating expenses. Latest posted operating expenses. An improvement of around 38% year over year. Quarter before that, they had $600 million in operating expenses. They pretty much almost cut it in half. So that will help out the bottom line. Next, our net income is also going to have some huge improvements. They posted negative $19 million versus negative $72 million. And this was back in March of 2023. That is a 73% improvement year over year in net income. Again, we could see that there is a trend to positive net income. I feel like they will be achieving that soon. So I just want to talk a little bit about Clover Assistant. This is one of the biggest advantages of Clover Health is their software centric approach. They're always launching new features for Clover Assistant, many which are based on feedback for clinician users and the advancements in machine learning and AI. With all these advancements they're having with Clover Assistant, it pretty much helps their mission of early disease identification. So as they experience all of these market headwinds with the CMS changes, they aren't as affected as some of their competitors. And we could see that with the medical cost ratio that we're about to look at. In 2024, they are saying that their medical cost ratio is going to be between 79 and 81%. Pretty much what that means is a lower ratio likely indicates higher profitability for the insurer. With a lower MCR ratio, signifies a larger amount of premiums are left over after paying customer insurance claims. So the lower the better. So I found this on Twitter, Silberglite Jr. I don't know if I'm, I'm saying that right. Sorry if I butchered your name. Basically, he posted quarter one 2024 medical ratio from Clover Health and some of its competitors. As you can see right here, Clover Health pretty much has the second lowest insurance MCR um, out of all the other insurers. But when you take a look at the stock price, Oscar Health has the highest one with the lowest MCR, but Clover Health has the second lowest insurance MCR. But the stock price has been lagging. Um, the stock price definitely has some catching up to do to its competitors. And lastly, just some couple highlights on the earnings transcript. One, they expect to have positive cash flows within the full year of 2024. Second, they expect to have around $388 million to $408 million in cash by the end of the year with zero long-term debt. They pretty much talk about how the strategy that they are incorporating is generating significantly better financial and clinical results compared to the traditional incumbents and to the other insurers that are their competition. And to just sum things up, one Clover Health's MCR did improve to 77.9%, comparing it to 86.6% in quarter one of 2023. Second, their insurance revenue has grown 8% year over year, and they believe they will be break even to slightly positive cash flow from operating activities during the full year of 2024. Lastly, they are using the extra cash on the balance sheet for a 20 million stock repurchase program. I just wanted to make a quick quarter one 2024 update for Clover Health. Let me know what you guys think. Hope everyone has a great day. Thanks for watching.